Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to go through the steps on how to speed up your Mac. We are running Mac OS Catalina. We're gonna go through my top 15 recommendations to look at speeding that computer up. So here we are on our Mac. Uh, so there's a number of things that we can do to look at uh, speeding up your Mac, including the uh, the boot time and just the everyday running of your Mac. Uh, and what you wanna do is just to get into a good habit of checking what's called the activity monitor. So you can access this by going via the finder or going via your spotlight search on the top right hand corner of your screen and typing in activity. And you'll see that it just comes up there. And really what this application lets you do is lets you see what is going on on your Mac and what uh, uh, applications and processes are using up you know, specific resources on your Mac. So you'll see right here, we've got all of these apps and then a percentage with CPU, uh, you've got memory, you've got the energy, um, you've got, I guess they're in the battery, you've got the disk, how much you know disk space is being used and then the network performance. So there's a number of different things that you can look at right through here and getting into a good habit of going into here and reviewing applications that are using a lot of CPU and a lot of memory. Maybe those are applications that you no longer need, no longer require. Perhaps there are applications that are running in the background that you didn't even know were running. So going into here and really just seeing the application that you, uh, you know, maybe don't want anymore. So let's say Team Viewer. I've got this running in the background. I can just kill this application. I can stop it right here and that will close any uh, services that Team Viewer is using. Uh, and then it'll free up that 0.2% uh, of my CPU. And then very similar to memory, you can see all of the memory that is being used and the applications that are being used and the processes that are being used uh, and allocated against a certain amount of memory. So it is quite a bit, as you can see, depending on essentially what uh, process and what application is running. So getting into a good habit, going through here, stopping things, keeping an eye on it, monitoring it, uh, especially if your computer is running slow, uh, this will give you a good indication of perhaps why it is running slow and what applications are chewing up most of your resources. Doing a bit of a first aid disk utility cleanup on your Mac is uh, very important as well. Uh, so going back into the spotlight search and typing in disk, you're gonna open up this application called Disk Utility. You'll see that your hard drive is listed right here and you can do what's called a first aid against your hard drive. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go out to your hard drive and identify any bad sectors, any things that need to be cleaned up, any invalid entries that need to be cleared up. So going into here, you've got a couple here, selecting your hard drive and then going and clicking on first aid. It's just gonna let you know that the, uh, the hard drive is going to be um, used, uh, Macintosh hard drive is gonna be used to, to check uh, against. So select that first aid and then click on run. Once that finishes, it'll give you a summary of what it did and you can just go ahead and close it and really run that against every hard drive that is visible on your Mac. Clearing out logging items is something that is uh, going to help your Mac uh, with its startup primarily. And uh, essentially there are applications that are gonna be running in the background uh, that will start up when your Mac starts up. So you can access this by going into your system preferences. And within here, you've got a number of different options. And what you wanna do is you wanna go and select your users and groups right here. And at the moment, it's just myself, right? So I've just got my one profile called Emilio. Uh, if you have multiple profiles, you will do this for every profile you have, right? Remember that for every profile, you wanna go and do this. So you select your profile and then select login items. You see that right here, these are the items that will open automatically when you log in. So when my Mac starts up, Stickies and Dropbox will start up automatically. So going into here and maybe removing one, clicking this little minus button down the bottom, removing it will prevent that application from starting, which should make your Mac boot time slightly quicker. Uh, likewise, if you want to add things into here, you can, if you want certain applications to start automatically, uh, you can do that just by clicking the plus and then navigating to the application. But for obviously for this video, we wanna look at speeding your Mac up. So you're gonna remove applications in here that you don't want to slow down your Mac. Mac OS Catalina has some great uh, built-in features around look and feel. Uh, one of these is some uh, visual effects. So 
reducing visual effects uh, from your uh, Mac uh, will make things happen quicker. So a good example of what a visual effect may look like is I've got my system preferences here open and I click my little reduce here and it creates a little effect right there uh, which uses some resources on your Mac. My dock, when I use my mouse, you'll see that it does this cool little effect that is a visual effect. So inside your system preferences, go into dock right here and there are a couple things that you can look at doing. So within these settings, you can look at turning magnification off. Uh, you can also look at minimize windows using scale effect instead of genie effect. Uh, you can do things like animate opening applications. You can tick that off and also having automatically hide and show the dock as turned off as well. So you don't want to automatically do this. See how the bottom of my dock disappears automatically. And then when I put my mouse, it comes back. Uh, that is an effect. Uh, so having that, uh, these options off will aid in uh, speeding up your Mac's performance. Clean out or clear out your system cache or cache, uh, depending on where you're from. Uh, within the library folders, there's a couple of different library folders. Uh, you can access your library folders by going into go, go to folder, and then just a single forward slash. You've got a library folder right here, and you've got your caches or your caches right here. Uh, clearing these out, uh, you can also look at clearing out your other caches. This little tilde squiggly line at the front, forward slash library. And that goes to a hidden folder library, which essentially is your uh, user profile library folder. And under here, you've also got the relevant folder, which you can look at clearing out. Now by clearing this out, you may lose some um, preferences that you have saved uh, and I've had people encounter some problems. So tread very carefully when you are deleting things in here. Uh, very often you'll have to reboot your Mac afterwards. But what I like to do is I like to use an application called Clean My Mac, right? Which um, I've got a link down the bottom in my description about where to access this. But this really helps with going and doing a lot of that uh, automatically in the background without you having to go and manually find these folders. Within here, you've got a folder here called System Junk, right? And you just click on the scan button and it's gonna go ahead and analyze all of this information, all of these caches and caches that you may have across your computer. And you'll see that it's found 5.97 gig, which can be cleaned up, which is actually quite, quite good. Uh, and then you go ahead and click on the clean button. You see that it's cleaned up 5.97 gig, which is actually quite good, quite a good saving. Uh, and your computer may start to run quicker as a result of this. Uh, you can review remaining items. You may need to restart and then run that again to pick up some remainder items from there. Something that is good is looking at um, keeping your computer clean of files and applications that you don't actually need. So removing old files that you don't use, uh, making sure that you're clearing out your recycling bin often, uh, reducing your desktop clutter. All right, so I've got some stuff on here which I can look at removing. Essentially things that are running on your desktop um, and unneeded apps and files. So it can take up RAM from your computer, which you could potentially be using for other things. So just keeping your computer clean uh, does help, um, especially if you have a hard drive that is not a flash or SSD hard drive. Uh, clearing out your hard drive space and reducing the amount of clutter uh, can have a significant uh, improvement on the speed of the overall uh, Mac. So every single Mac installation is using uh, Spotlight, right? Which is this little top right thing here, which really just helps you with searching and finding things on your Mac. Uh, Spotlight needs to be indexed, essentially needs to be scanning your computer and making sure that it's up to date so that when you do search for something, it knows where to find it. Uh, sometimes re-indexing your Spotlight can help with some performance um, concerns on your computer. It could sometimes be that Spotlight is stuck uh, re-indexing, so going and stopping and restarting that process uh, can sometimes aid uh, in improvement of the speed. So within my system preferences right here, you'll see that Spotlight is listed right here, okay? And I can go into here, and under the Privacy tab right here, what I can do is I can literally just grab my hard drive from my Finder desktop right here, drag it in. Are you sure you want to prevent Spotlight from searching your hard drive? So what we're gonna be doing is we're stopping it. We're gonna say, okay. 
and now we're selecting it and clicking on the little minus button to remove it. So that has now essentially reset Spotlight and it's now gonna be re-indexing again. It may take about an hour or so depending on how much files and how big your hard drive is, but that would hopefully improve your Spotlight searches and your re-indexing. Clearing um, unneeded uh, file history, browser history, browser add-ons from your browsers uh, is also another thing that you could look at doing. Uh, three main browsers that we're just gonna cover here is within Google Chrome. Going up to Chrome and selecting clear browsing data and really just selecting all the options from all time that will ensure that that is all clear. Something else that you can do is if you go into preferences right here, and down to extensions, uh, you've got a whole bunch of applications here that essentially are um, add-ons, they're called APIs, things like that, uh, extensions to your Google Chrome. Uh, and these can slow down uh, functionalities against your browser. So going in and uh, removing any extensions or add-ons that you don't need, uh, that's within Chrome. If we open up Safari as another browser, clearing out your Safari preferences, you can do a clear history within the preferences area and set up so that it automatically removes history outs after a certain amount of time. And then also selecting the extensions tab up the top here. You can see any extensions that you may have uh, connected into your Safari, very similar to Google Chrome, and removing any extensions that you don't actually need. Then we've got Firefox. Firefox preferences within the privacy and security section, you can just scroll down and you can look at um, remember history or never, and you can also clear your history right through there. And then you've got extensions and themes, controlling whatever form of extensions or add-ons that you have uh, within Firefox itself. Keeping your Mac updated um, to the latest uh, OS updates uh, is also important. Um, you don't know what new updates will bring, but often they do bring uh, bug fixes. Um, which could also inc include things like improving the speed. So you can access this by going into the Apple and about this Mac software updates 10.15.3 and updating that to the later edition if there is one available. Um, and that's also true of any software that you may have. So you can go down into your App Store, which you can also access by going into the Apple App Store section, going down to updates, and in here, it's gonna scan for any software that you have and any updates that are available. Now, something that you should keep in mind is uh, changing the Mac OS edition altogether uh, may not always improve your speed, but sometimes could even make it worse. So at the moment, we're, we're running this for Catalina, but let's say your Mac is already running slow and there's a brand new Mac OS uh, release and you go and update to whatever the latest Mac OS release is, um, the new release sometimes will require more resources from your computer, which may actually make your computer run slower. So just keep that in mind. Don't always update the full operating system um, version, but do keep the latest you know, dot updates. So 15.4, 15.5, 15.6, keep those updated and uh, you'll be okay. If you're finding that you've got problems with uh, speed after trying those things, something else that you can look at doing is recreating uh, your profile, your user profile altogether. So inside system preferences, if you go into users and groups, you'll see that I've got my account here. This is the Emilio user profile. Uh, sometimes your user profile could get corrupted. There's a lot of stuff in there, a lot of junk that uh, a lot of these fixes that you've done may not actually fix. So it may be a good idea to go and create yourself a brand new user account. Uh, you can do this by unlocking your Mac first and clicking on the little plus button right here and then creating yourself a brand new account. You wanna give it probably administrator rights if you want it to be a copy. Uh, give it a name, an account, a password, create the user and then look at copying any files say from the desktop or from the documents or anywhere else on your current profile over to the new profile. So when you log out, you'll be able to log in under your new profile and then copy the data over. Uh, and then you're starting fresh, essentially from a user profile perspective. Couple things that um, you could also look at doing is resetting what's called the SMC and the PRAM. They're sometimes good to do them from time to time. The SMC uh, reset you can do from the laptop range, so from MacBook Air, MacBook Pro uh, and MacBooks. 
Uh, you need to check obviously if your Mac uh, battery is removable. In most newer ones it will not be removable uh, because the process will be different. But um, we're gonna, I'm gonna put the instructions on how to reset the SMC um, down at the bottom in the description. But really in short, it's shutting down your Mac and then starting it up, holding a particular command, which is Shift, Control and Option uh, on your keyboard, pressing the power button on and holding those keys together for about 10 seconds, releasing it and then your computer will then re restart and powering it back on and then that will be cleared. The other option is the PRAM, which is a similar sort of process where you're shutting down the Mac uh, you're locating specific keys on the keyboard which are command option p and r holding those three together those four together sorry turning on your mac and it'll sort of give you a sound it'll start up computer will reboot and then your pram will be cleared so doing those two things does clear out a whole bunch of um, system stuff in the background that may not be uh, very good for your computer long term so clearing those out may uh, see an improvement if your Mac is a newer Mac, uh, you could already be running uh, what's called a SSD or a flash hard drive. Uh, so you are running something that's actually quite quick. Um, if you've got a Mac that is not running a SSD or a um, flash hard drive, look at changing that. You can go into about this Mac, system report, and then going down to the storage tab right here, you'll see that my hard drive is listed and it actually says that medium type is SSD. So from my perspective, I'm good to go. It is running a very fast fast disk. Uh, if you're running something that is slower, it may say SATA. Look at changing that because you're gonna find an improvement in speed by getting a, a faster SSD flash hard, hard drive uh, on your Mac. Reviewing your uh, RAM. All right, how much RAM do you have on your computer? So this computer has got 16 gig worth of RAM. Uh, your computer may be able to take more RAM. The more RAM you've got, the better performance and better speed you're going to get. You can get more RAM by literally taking your computer down to the Apple Store and asking them to install more RAM. They'll check it. They'll let you know if you can or can't uh, increase your RAM. If you can, great. You'll have yourself a bit of a faster computer. My next thing, we touched on it earlier, but using Clean My Mac for general um, uh, improvements to your system is actually quite good. Um, you'll see that it's installed right here. It's given me a lot of excellent stats about my computer, um, how much hard drive space, my memory, uh, other things. If I open that up, uh, I have a number of other features apart from the ones that we showed you earlier around clearing your cache and your cache. Um, but running Clean My Mac, scanning it, uh, optimizing your speed, running all these sort of things, and giving your computer a good overall maintenance health check um, from time to time is, is excellent. Um, I find this application to be very, very useful, and it does a lot of the stuff um, automatically without me having to manually go in and tinker with the terminal, uh, writing commands and you know going through the finder to find certain things. Um, this has all the features right in here for going and cleaning up my Mac um, and, and optimizing the performance so that uh, my computer is running in its best possible way. If you're still having problems with all of that, you've, you've upgraded it, you've cleaned it, you've done software checks, you've done everything, uh, the last really best option is to maybe look at uh, changing your computer. Your computer could be a bit too old. Uh, you may not have gotten a computer that was fast enough to be able to run the applications that you've got running. You know, let, let's say you buy yourself the lowest end uh, MacBook computer and you're running a video editing software like Final Cut. Um, it's not gonna work very, very well. It's gonna run very, very slow. So uh, that's the next option, would be looking at reviewing uh, your Mac purchase because you may need to get something that is a little bit more powerful and a little bit, giving you a bit more grunt. So that was my video on speeding up your Mac. Uh, these are 15 steps for Catalina. I hope you found them helpful. Um, if you did, if you didn't even, uh, if they didn't work for you, if they did, uh, let me know below in the comments section. As well as that, I would love it if you like this video and subscribe to Digital by Computing. Click that notification button to be up to date with when videos are released. But either way, we'll see you next time and uh, all the best.